before we go to that, can we explain why some of you get like blocks of white stuff at the bottom and you don't understand what it is? <sighs> because a lot of you have seen it. A lot of you report with what's the difference between CO2 and zinc oxide. Right, that's a, a, a important point that'd be good to clarify. Okay. Yeah, let's let's look at it. Um, the way I understood you, Mr. Cash, uh, the zinc oxide was more of an orangish color. Uh, uh, zinc oxide uh, is no. always white. 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 Zinc oxide, orange does you don't get a zinc oxide. It's white in the cancer state. The orange color is mainly CH. Okay, so so zinc oxide is white. Yes. Zinc so oxide. it would be it would be similar to the CO two gans then. Yes, but it's a slightly different white. Okay, because I did that with aluminum. Uh, I've got I've, I've obtained yeah. another one that's almost white, yeah. but it's aluminum. Aluminum is a gluey, gooey white. The the one you get the like a substance at the bottom when you make a CO two. Can I share the uh, what do you call it? Okay. Okay, we're there. Yeah, let me write these down. So what we see, if you have a zinc, a zinc oxide ZnO2, you have 60 plus 16 plus 16, which is 92, sorry. 92. Yeah, 92. If you look at when you have the zinc oxide and you have the plates inside, where you're creating a, a, a carbon. 40 plus 40 plus 12. These two become molecular, uh, uh, molecular GANs of calcium plus the carbon which that carbon becomes partially CO2. And this molecular uh, calcium gun is as a solid bit at the bottom of your body, at the bottom of your um, container. Uh, this is how uh, calcium is created in the body of the man for the bone structure. Partially the, the appearance when the people who cannot digest milk or cannot take calcium in the body, or when you have a, a calcium loss or a soft bone tissue, doctors look at the wrong side of the thing, you can compensate it with the zinc. And you can do that very, very easily with, um, with uh, what do you call it, conversion of the zinc to calcium. calcium. This is what the oyster does, but this is what the sea, sea fish, or sea, what do you call it, uh, shell fishes do. That's why they, they are so, they, they absorb so much uh, zinc from the bottom of the sea. Because they go through the same process, it's never been understood, so we add to the knowledge, you understand now. They absorb the zinc, they store the zinc, in combination with the presence of the carbon, which is part of the breathing system which they use, they produce calcium. And that's how the shell of the uh, seashell fishes are created. And that's why, for example, oyster has a white, uh, what do you call it, shell. It's a calcium conversion, where the CO2 which is created inside does, is, is a zinc, using zinc, uh, for creation of calcium, which becomes the shell of the fish. And that is how you produce these blocks at the bottom of your your pot, wherever you have a zinc. Because you go, you literally produce oyster shell, or the bone structure which we have in the body of the man. This has never been known, now maybe you understand, adding to the knowledge. 
and we see a lot of people say, I produce zinc oxide, when most of the time, whenever you see solid bits at the bottom of your pot, you're producing zinc oxide, because the zinc oxide leads to the creation of the calcium, which is at the bottom, molecular structure, GANS of calcium. That is actually sheets of uh, GANSes of calcium, which is stuck as a molecular stage together. It's a nano layer. It's a true nano layer of material. The same as you make with the copper. Nano for the copper. Uh, those of you who index the teaching, maybe you with the index this, that's how the shell of the animals are created. Conversion of the zinc to calcium in the cancer state. Thank you very much for bringing up. I've been trying to teach this for a long time and I keep on forgetting I teach some people when I explain it. They say, whenever you see um, solid residual, you have used a high power, you did not put a filter like a LED light in it. So what you've done, I explained this before, what you have done is, when you put your copper oxide and the zinc plate in, the current flow between the two, you tie it up together, 99% you're making zinc oxide. If you take a load, and put a LED light or a motor, even if they don't light, you don't need to be seen lit, you're creating CO2. That's why, as I said before as well, in a couple of weeks past teaching, the new uh, CO2 plates and the CO2 kits, which are leaving the Keshe Foundation Manufacturing Italy from next week, all have a LED light because it's a CO2 kit. If you want to use, produce uh, zinc oxide, take the LED out and just connect two wires together to cross the connection. Wherever you see these residual solid bits at the bottom, you produce calcium exactly like oyster. Or like uh, the bone of the man. One of the sections of the bone of the man, uh, it's the way man creates bone, bone structure, is the use of the zinc, because zinc is connected to the emotional part, and the bone structure producing a immune system is to guarantee the survival of the emotional part in the blood which it creates. So, zinc but is part of the essential part. It's a glue, it's a, it's a, it's a, what is the word for it? It's an agent, it's a catalyst. When you create a field of the zinc for the creation of the calcium in the bone of the man, uh, creating the bone structure, because it carries part of the emotion with it. Okay, can we see the next video? Thank you for that uh, clarification.